Today we're going to share with you how much it really costs to get started with your Amazon FBA business this year. With everything that's happening around us, this is the perfect time to learn and start moving to make your business concept come alive. Now there are many gurus out there setting an expectation that you can have a successful business with only $500. While nothing is impossible, in our experience it is extremely unlikely that you'll be successful and hit the goals that you want with that small of a budget. Amazon is a great opportunity, it's a great business model, but it does cost money to build a real business. Is it for you? Is it something feasible for you to do? Join us to know more about setting up your budget and to go through the possible costs of starting your Amazon FBA journey. Welcome to the Sprint to Profit for Amazon Sellers channel where we help sellers like you grow and scale on Amazon with no hype or black hat tactics. I'm Kirsty and I'm Isaac and we're not only real active Amazon sellers who have sold multi millions of dollars, we've coached more than a thousand students and helped them make Amazon FBA a highly sustainable and profitable business that fuels their lifestyle. And the first thing you have to realize is that this is a real business. It's not a hobby or something that anyone would call passive income. And just like a real business, you will have to invest money into this business to make sure that it grows. Before we dive into what they are, here's an overview of all the things that you will likely have to invest money into in order to make this business a cash generating machine. So here's a quick list of the essentials you need to get your business going on the right foot. First, you need inventory. We also call this your cost of goods. This is basically the cost of your first order. Your freight costs, the cost to ship the inventory to Amazon from your supplier, and business startup costs like your logo and your packaging. So when I refer to the cost to set up your business, I'm talking about setting up an LLC or an LTD that you'll almost certainly create so that way you can reduce the risk of running your business. Amazon also takes commissions and charges for storing and shipping your goods when you're also selling via FBA, also known as fulfillment by Amazon. You will also have a lot of marketing costs to help you launch your product and also make sure that you sell it ongoing. And you'll likely be using some software tools to help you analyze your products to help you select the proper products to make you profit. You may also invest in some training or coaching to help you get the business done the right way. We would highly recommend this because you can end up spending way more on mistakes trying to figure everything out yourself rather than investing in yourself and the proper coaching. So let's go over an example to help you understand this concept in a bit more detail. For this example, I'm going to use the example of a window squeegee, which if you aren't familiar with this item, it's used to wipe liquids off windows and glass. A lot of people would use this to wipe water off their shower doors and walls after they are done showering to avoid getting residue stains. So let's jump into our training on how to determine how much it costs to start an Amazon business. So step one, we have to determine an estimated cost for the product itself, for the squeegee that we're going to sell. So to do this, we suggest you going to alibaba.com and type in window squeegee into the search bar. Then take a look at the first 20 or so research results and try to get an average price for the product. When we did this, we came up with about 30 cents for the window squeegee we were looking for. This means that we will not have to invest a ton of money into this product because it's quite cheap. However, this is not a typical product, nor do we suggest you run out and sell a window squeegee. This is just an example to help you understand your cost of goods and how much the business will cost to start. In step two, now we have to estimate the freight costs of this product to be shipped from the factory which is in China. Now for this product, we have an estimated of 50 cents per unit for freight costs. The easiest way to estimate freight costs is to simply use the Alibaba.com live chat and ask the representative who is available if they can give you a freight quote based on typical cost per unit. They'll usually have to ask the factory or a shipping company, but they will likely be able to help you. In step three, for this example, let's estimate that we're gonna need 1,500 units for the first order to help launch the products to last three or four months. So one and a half units at an inventory cost of 30 cents, we simply multiply 1,500 by 30 cents, which gives us $450. And if each unit costs 50 cents for freight, we simply multiply 1,500 by 50 cents, which equals $750. To get the total cost of inventory and freight, we add the two together and voila, it will cost $1,200 to order and ship that product into Amazon. Step four, now that we know the cost of getting the product to Amazon, we then need to calculate the ongoing costs to make sure that the product is gonna make you money. To do this, we need to know what we're going to sell our squeegee for so we can make our margin or profit. This is not what you want to sell it for. We have to make sure that we are going to be competitive in the market. So when we type window squeegee into amazon.com, we use our Jungle Scrout Chrome browser extension to check the sales of the page one competitors. We see that one of the best sellers is selling for $9.99, which means that we can check to see if the product is profitable at $9.99. 
You can get the link to the Jungle Scout Chrome extension again below this video. Step five, using the $9.99 price, we will break down the cost. Amazon's commission is always 15% of your sales price. This means we will pay Amazon $1.50. Then we need to calculate the Amazon FBA fees. These fees are the warehousing fees. For this, we can use the Amazon FBA calculator. Just Google Amazon FBA calculator and take the ASIN of the product and pop it into the calculator. Then you can get an estimate of how much your products will cost. As you can see in this process, the fees are estimated at $3.16 using the Amazon FBA calculator. And you can get a link to that tool below this video. Before I go into more detail, I wanna hear from you about your burning questions about making an existing Amazon business profitable. Let us know in the comments below. In step six, this means the total cost for selling the products on Amazon as an FBA seller is $5.46. This also means that after all initial costs, you're making $4.53 or a 45.3% profit margin. Step seven, now if I know I need 1500 units for my first order so that I can get enough inventory for about three to four months and cover my launch, then I can calculate my first order profit. So $4.53 times 1500 equals $6,795. This doesn't include marketing costs or any other one-time costs to start the business though. So step eight, what we wanna do is add our logo and brand asset costs. Now the logo may cost you around $500, but if you've got a good brand and use the same brand for more products, then that is a one-time fee that doesn't apply to ongoing product orders. But to start the business, this fee will need to be added. Step nine, then we wanna do a launch of some promotional units to get some keyword ranking and visibility for our product on amazon.com. Basically, we need to do some sort of launch process where initial customers can get the product for a great price in order to help you get some sales history. We commonly refer to these as giveaways, but you don't necessarily give the products away for free. But let's assume in this example that we give 150 units away absolutely free, just so we can use a worst case scenario estimation for our launch costs. 150 units times the cost of freight, inventory, and the fees related to shipping those units to the customers from Amazon as a free product will cost us $1,314. Then step 10, now we can calculate our profit for the first order. If we subtract all the costs mentioned in this example, the first order for this window squeegee will make us a profit of 4,281. Remember, it only cost us 1,200 to order it and get it to Amazon. Now that's a pretty good return on investment. Now I wanna caution you not to just run out and sell a window squeegee though. This is a quick example of how the costs work. You need to do your own research though. We also haven't really analyzed the competition in this video. So you may not really even know if you can afford to compete properly. The real point of this exercise is that you can get up and running on Amazon with about $3,000 to $5,000 and get a profitable product going. However, we recommend that you have around two to three times that amount to give yourself a better chance. Why? Well, you need to consider a few things like, number one, you will need money left over to reorder the product to keep selling ongoing and you may not have got your money back from Amazon fast enough yet. Number two, you wanna make sure that you can launch and advertise your product ongoing without running out of cash. Number three, you will also leave yourself a bit of room to potentially launch a second product because you don't wanna put all your eggs in one basket. Also, the last thing you may want to factor in for costs of your first product is some training to help you understand how to sell on Amazon properly. This business is pretty straightforward, but there are a lot of challenges that may come up that you don't know how to get around. So it would be wise to work with someone who has done this and can guide you through all those steps and provide feedback to you about what you're doing. Therefore, if you ask us, the Amazon FBA business model would require about 15 to $20,000 to get started and give yourself a good chance to succeed. Remember, this is a real business and yeah, that is a lot of money, but at least we're telling you this is the cost now. There are gonna be a lot of people out there who will tell you that you can turn $1,000 into a million dollars and not only is that a big claim, it is highly misleading. We want you to understand the true costs and give yourself a great chance to succeed. This is not a get rich quick business and it's not the lottery. If you have less than $15,000 to start, it would be hard to find products that you can sell well enough and compete on Amazon and do it without a lot of mistakes. Without the right coaching, people have wasted more than that amount on big mistakes. That's why we help people avoid those. And if you want to reach out on how we can help you further, then send us an email to support at goteamreal.com. Again, the link is below this video. We hope this helps you make good decisions about your Amazon business and make sure that you've got the proper investment capital before you jump in and lose a lot of money. Make sure to download our free getting started checklist below this video. This also signs you up to our email list so you can get only actionable real tips and training on how to be a thriving Amazon seller. 
If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the little bell and subscribe to our channel for more videos to help you get started on your journey. Click on the link below to learn more.